Hey, hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Terraform Cloud APIs with using Python. As you see in this PPT, this PPT depicts my demo. Here, I'm going to show you how you can write a Python code which actually invokes the Terraform Cloud APIs to do the required job at Terraform Cloud. So, as you see in this picture, the API developer will gonna write a Python code which actually uses the request module of Python, which under the hood, you know, it, it gonna invoke the Terraform Cloud APIs. So there are lots of Terraform Cloud APIs that Terraform, you know, uh, Cloud provides for us. Which with we, with using that, you know, we can interact with the um, Terraform Cloud to create the workspace, read the workspace, list the workspace, lock the workspace, unlock the workspace, right? So this video you know i'm going to quickly walk you through like how we can do those operations with using you know terraform api you know terraform uh, cloud apis right all right so that's the basically flow here so we have a, a api developer he's going to invoke the terraform cloud apis which actually perform some task right so and the uh, and we are you know we are invoking the apis with using python here right all right so this is my terraform cloud this is my terraform cloud subscription basically so as you see in this one, so whenever you want to log in to Terraform Cloud, you have to log in to a website called you know https colon forward slash app dot terraform dot io. If you don't have an account, you need to create it. If you have the accounts, log in with it. Yeah. And then once you log in, you know, you will be landed to an organization. So currently I have two arms that is um, Cloud Quick Labs, which is my channel name. Yeah. So underneath this one, so I have a couple of you know the um, workspaces which i used for you know previous videos yeah now in this video we see how we can use terraform cloud apis to interact with these you know the interact with the terraform cloud and perform the you know certain task okay for example say you know there is a scenario where you need to create the workspace dynamically and use it for storing your terraform state files here right so in that case you know you can follow this approach or let's say you want to do some List the you know uh, workspace present in the uh, in our um, organizations, or you want to lock certain workspaces during certain times. You want to unlock those, yeah. So basically, all these are like uh, automation scenarios, right? So in these cases, the API is going to you know come very handy here, right? So here I'm going to take you to the um, my you know um, uh, Terraform app. That is, you know, Terraform Cloud's uh, uh, you know, organization. So this is my organizations. So for this demo, so whatever I have shown you in this one, so creating the workspace, listing, deleting, yeah, updating. So I gonna show you, you know, I'm gonna show you like how to perform the CRUD operations with using um, uh, Terraform APIs, right? For that case, what you have to do is once you are logged into the, you know, this Terraform Cloud, click on the uh, users. So this is the user profile. Underneath, you know, you need to go to the user settings. Underneath that, you need to go to tokens. Okay, so in the token, you see, I have a couple of tokens have been already been created, but I'm going to create a one more API token. Say, you know, I will call it as a Terraform Cloud API demo. Terraform uh, Cloud API demo. So I'm going to create this token. So once you create this token, it will pop up you a string that is a grid. You need to copy that grid. It will be showed you only one time. Yeah. So I'm gonna copy that here. So basically, this is the you know uh, this is the script I'm gonna walk you through, and also I'm gonna show you like you know how you can interact with the you know the Terraform Cloud with using the APIs. So in this process, we need a token. That's the reason we created a token from here, and I copied the token. So then I'm done with it. Just close on done, and you will not be able to see the token later once you are done. Once you click on the button done, yeah. All right. So now once we have the APIs. Then we are almost set now. So what I go is I'm gonna go back to the uh, organizations because I want to perform certain tasks in my Terraform Cloud organization. So so and this is the organization which I'm gonna work on basically, right? So let me copy that name, and now I'm gonna walk you through this code and perform the CRUD operations that I'm gonna do on a my Terraform Cloud. You know this is my Terraform Cloud subscription, right? And especially in that one, I'm looking at my org called Cloud Quick Labs, right? So now what i did is i copied that and if you see the url that is the api url is something like this that is https colon app dot terraform dot io forward slash api forward slash version 2 then you have the organizations then you will have the the name of the organizations 
so this is the place you need to keep the organizations and then comes the actual task that you're going to perform on the terraform cloud so that going to be added here right so this space going to be changing based on the task that you're going to perform yeah and this also going to be changed whenever you know you're performing so at the end of my video i'm going to make these required changes in this file i'm going to upload in my github repo and the github repo link will be shared in video's description you can find it from there and you can use it as it is yeah so here this is very simple python script and in this python script i have imported module called request so this is the module from python which will help you to invoke the apis and we are importing the json as well because during when you are in importing the when you are using the um terraform uh, when you are using the python request module so you need to use the json um, module as well that's the reason we are importing that as well so here you see you now i'm just printing some statements saying hey i'm gonna create a workspace now so then this is the variable that i'm declaring that is the url which i explained to you then this is the token which i created and copied here then comes the header so in the header you know i'm gonna we are gonna keep something very special here that is it's not special though it's just a simple authorization and content type that we need to keep it here right so underneath so basically this is a dictionary so in the dictionary we are keeping the key called authorization so the authorizations will be a bearer token so you're gonna write it like a bearer space and the token so the token value will be you know uh, uh, you know retrieved from here and the content type you know content type is this is the very specific one so you need to keep it like application forward slash vnd dot api dot json has to be kept in then then you are done with the header then comes the payload so in the payload basically you know whenever you are doing a create operation which is actually a post operation to the api right so in that case what i'm gonna do is we have to create a one more dictionary called this way and then in that one we have a key called data in the data you know we're gonna provide certain key values that is attributes in the attributes you are declaring the name of your workspace so this is the name of the workspace that you're going to be created here so let me say demo workspace yeah so we're going to create a workspace with a name called demo workspace right and then type is equal so this is like a, you know a, a kind of an identifier for the api that what is actually you are doing here so basically you need to make sure that you know you are also passing this uh, key value and the, it is a remember that it is a case sensitive so keep it as it is yeah and then this is the payload so basically and here comes the request module so this is the request module underneath the request model we are invoking a function called request in that one the method is the post this is the url so the url which we constructed that is the api then comes the header so header is the this is the header which we created just now and then comes the data that is actually a payload carrier and the payload carrier is now wrapped under a json dumps which is actually converts this you know um dictionary to a json right and then comes then comes you know we are actually this is the actual command this is just a one line one liner command that you know one liner uh, uh, command of the python which actually invokes the api required api yeah so basically this is how the format will going to be continue ahead but bits and pieces will going to be changing right all right so with that note i'm gonna run the command now so before i run the command what i'm going to do is i need to uncomment something so i'm just gonna replace this yeah so basically what i'm doing is if you follow my screen here so you know we are actually doing a create operation right so for each operation i have added double you know double hash operation name so i have given there yeah now it is time to run this script and see if the response is if we are getting the required responses yeah so i'm gonna say dot content so basically you know uh, the response would contain in the content so i'm gonna type it as a content so control g and, uh, and 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 just i'm gonna add it as a content because i need to see the content of the response so i'm gonna keep it as a content so and then comes the click on the run actually so when you click on the runs basically you are executing this script when i say executing the script you know you are actually invoking the terraform cloud apis right here you go the you know the api has been invoked successfully and that's the reason i'm seeing this response okay so let me uh, do control x yeah all right so whenever you see this kind of a response you know which is actually a green signal in the sense it has done some job yeah so i'm gonna scroll it bit and we're gonna walk you through the up actually so i need to scroll it bit up so i'm gonna scroll it bit up here all right so i'm gonna see if i can walk you through so basically yeah so basically this is the response we have got when i hit a create api right and let me go to the uh, workspace and see if i have created a one more workspace currently you see there are five workspace yeah so if it is it is getting refreshed and we should see one more uh, api underneath the default yeah so if i can refresh it again so we should see that response actually 
basically what is the you know the workspace that we created is is the you know um yeah that is a demo workspace so if i can show you the demo workspace here you go the demo workspace you see the demo workspace is just now created yeah all right so if i go to the all workspaces and you should see the demo workspace the demo workspace has been created and the latest changes you know a minute ago so basically this is how we're going to invoke the apis of terraform cloud from with using the Terra, you know python so python is a very you know very excellent um coding or uh, programming language you know it, it's very flexible even you can use it for automation infrastructure as a code you can use it for web application people are building you can use it for you know data engineering everything so that's the reason i love giving the demos with using python yeah all right so we are done with the uh, create operation let's go ahead and do uh, some update operations quickly as well i'm going to show you the certain operations you know including lock everything like like that yeah so now um, I'm going to comment out the first operation that is create. All right, so we have commented now. Let's comment out. Uh, let's uncomment the second operation that is update actually. So we're going to update something here. So I'm going to save it now. Yeah, so now right, right now you see uh, it's an update operation that I'm going to show you now. So in this one, you need to change the organization value. So our organization value is this one. All right, so, um, so I'm going to keep my mouse very slow so that you can capture it. So in this one, I'm going to replace with the my org name, yeah, and then workspace name. So the workspace name I'm going to update is my workspace name that is demo workspace, yeah. So I'm going to change the value of my workspace equal to demo workspace, yeah. All right. So now let me make my token as a you know um, say say public variable, yeah. So to make it public, I'm going to copy it here. So let me just make this. And I'm gonna remove this token because I don't need because you know it has been copied or I just say I'm gonna comment it out. Yeah. All right. Okay. So with that note, we are done with the you know the required configuration. So the rest all will continue as it is. Here, you know, after workspace, we need to give the our workspace name. Header will remain same. In the payload, also it will remain same. But you know, he here we need to give the change the value of your workspace because you are updating the workspace. So basically, you know, what I'm going to update is I'm going to rename it. Say you want to rename it to workspace, demo workspace one. Yeah. So currently, if I go back, so you see the name of is, you know, name of the workspace is demo workspace. It does not have demo workspace one. And, uh, and, you know, let's see, you know, let's see if I hit the request with the method called patch, does it going to rename it? Okay. So that is the aim of this demo. So I'm going to clear the existing one. I will take this one. I'm going to hit the, uh, you know, the API by running this script. Here you go. It has got the response. So basically it should have been renaming now. So if I, if we go just refresh it, so we should see the name of the demo workspace is changed now. So basically what that mean is, yeah, so we have hit the update operation as well and it worked. Yeah. So that's the, that's the main aim of the, you know, this as well. So let me, let me go ahead and, and show you the further operations as well. That is deleting the, no, deleting the uh, particular workspace that is let's delete this you know demo workspace again yeah demo workspace one because we renamed it yeah all right so i'm gonna delete it now um okay all right so uh, let me remove this so that it will comment out the others and it will just enable the uh, delete now you know i need to change the org as well so i'm gonna copy the org because uh, so this is my org uh, so currently i'm doing the delete operation as well so that you are confident that you know we are deleting something uh, you know uh, demo workspace one so where is my demo workspace one this is my demo workspace one i'm going to copy this right so i'm going to copy from here only so this is the demo workspace one so the name of my workspace is demo workspace one which is i'm going to delete now and then that's also it is very simple if you see here it needs a token as well so i'm going to comment the token so that it can take the top token as well so when I say top token in the sense the token which we have kept it here, yeah. All right. So now I will go down and and run this API that is delete API. The URL going to remain same, yeah. Where we are appending the workspace name, header will remain same, and delete operation does not need a payload, right? And with that I'm gonna hit this and let's see if it gets deleted. All right. So delete is successful. You see the delete is successful basically. So yeah, looks like it has it is running the down the line, which is actually failing, which is okay. All right, so I need, I was supposed to remove this, so we didn't remove. So it's running executing the down the line. Yeah, so basically I was meant to run this delete operation. So currently it has successfully deleted. You see, so delete is successful. Whichever I am selecting here is the response that I got. 
and if i show here and if i go back to the workspace uh, workspace and you will not able to find that workspace because it got deleted yeah all right so with that we have done with the delete as well let's see read the workspace r or read a particular workspace say you want to read this aws backup yeah so i'm going to copy that i'm going to change the value of this to to this one so basically now we are we are hitting the um, um the another api now okay so i'm going to um i'm going to make this as well so this is uh, commenting out i'm just commenting out yeah all right so we're going to quickly walk you through the the rest apis as well so i'm going to hit this as uh, as commented yeah and then all right so i'm going to i'm going to comment out of this one then then all right so basically now what i'm going to do is we're going to hit the one more api called read yeah so this is the i'm going to change the value so remember that you know the 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 api change that i'm doing is pertaining to a particular operation right so we are doing the read and the api url will go to remain same plus added with the workspace name and the workspace name is nothing but you know you need to give the workspace which is there in the in your org basically yeah so here aws backup is there so i'm just keeping that um, uh, name here I'm going to comment out the token so that it takes the global variable which is declared above. And the, here, you know, the operation is get operation with the parameter like URL and header. Yeah. And all right. So, with that note, um, we're going to hit it now. Let's see if I'm getting the response. Here you go. I got some response. So, basically, you see the response. Yeah. So, once I click on this one, so if I can show you the response which I got. So, this is the response I got. Yeah. That is, yeah. So, if you see here, um, all right so deleted successfully all right so so got the response successfully right so basically if i can run it again because we can run it so this is uh, uh get read yeah so i'm just going to click i'm going to clear it off and i'm going to run it again so that you are confident here so click on this one read the terraform workspace and you got the response yeah so which means that you know basically you see the big response that i'm getting here all right so that is the response that is basically reading the that is actually the get operation that I'm performing with using the API. That's it. So now let me go to the next API. So, so there are the couple of APIs that you need to follow here down the line. So we're going to list all now. So, okay. So let me do that. So why I'm doing these commenting out is basically, you know, to avoid the other invocation in the script. Yeah. So nothing else. All right. So now let's run the list all operations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the arg name, which I, because I need that arg name here. So what is basically it's going to do is it's going to list all the workspace present in my arg yeah and the token is it's going to use the same token the url will remain like this which is constructed with the you know app.terraform.io api version 2 organizations your arg name workspaces header going to remain same there is no body here and you are invoking the rest and you are getting the response and printing the response yeah so with that we'll gonna hit me now so click on this one i'm going to save it now i'm going to list all now basically so if i can run it again yeah all right so basically list all so here you go it has given very big response right which is actually listing all the workspace present in my organization that is a cloud quick lab organizations yeah so with that we are done with the list all let's go to the next apa that is you know locking which is interesting one i'm gonna you know i'm gonna comment out the other portion because we don't need that so you know yeah so with this now we're gonna open the locking me mechanism how to lock it with using apis right? that is the that is the you know aim of this so to lock it you know we need a uh, um so if you see here this is the comment okay let me finish up with the commentings so here this is very unique so to lock a particular workspace you need a workspace id it will not work if you are putting the workspace name remember that yeah so for that case, I'm going to lock this now. That is AWS uh, backup, which is my existing workspace name. I'm going to keep the value of the workspace ID because I need it. I'm going to save it. Now the URL will remain same, but here the you know after version two, you have to give the workspace, then give the workspace ID action, and then the lock. So this will constitute a API URL. This is the header which is going to remain same. Then this is the payload. So basically, you need to give the reason why you are locking it. And then you know you will have to request the method that is post with the URL header and the data. Yeah. And rest all is just checking the if else condition. So I'm gonna run it now. So before I run it, let me clean my outputs. All right. So let me clear my output. 
and I'm gonna hit now. So basically, once I hit it, and here it goes. So there is it says you know there is unauthorized error because because I don't have the access basically, right? So why I don't have the access is because the token that is you know because you see I have not commented the token, so it is basically becoming vacant. Yeah. So I'm gonna comment it so that it can it will gonna take this token. Yeah. All right. So now let's run it again. So this time we should not see that error. Here you go. It has successfully locked, right? And the, you see the response, then locked, you know, lock of the workspace is completed. If I go back to the workspace and we should see the lock. So here you go. It is locked. Yeah. All right. So with that note, we have also shown you how to lock it. Now let's go and unlock it basically, which is again, you know, con you know converse task. Yeah. And that is, you know, that is actually um, doing or unlocking the workspace. Okay. How do you do that? We can do that actually, which is very simple. It's equivalent to the whatever we have done above. So we need a workspace ID as well. So I'm going to copy the same workspace ID, which I showed you for lock. I'm going to keep this value here. So this is the workspace ID. Yeah. I'm going to comment out this here because we need to comment out. Yeah. So this is, uh, uh, I know I'm going to comment out here. All right. So we comment out the token ID. So it's, this is a print statement. This is workspace ID. This is the URL which is remains same like I explained above, but here the action would be unlock. Here it is lock. Yeah. All right. So then the header will remain same. That is as explained earlier. And then here we are hitting the post method. So basically, if it is unlocked, then we're going to get some response. Okay. So let me see if we're going to get the response actually. So I'm going to hit it now. And here you go. I got a successful response that is unlock is done. Let's go and check if it is unlocked now. Right. So so basically, you know, if you see here, so if you see here, you know, it has successfully unlocked it. Yeah. Here you go. AWS backup has successfully unlocked. Yeah. All right. So basically, you know, I have walked you through a very huge list of APIs that you can interact with the Terraform cloud. So Terraform cloud has given very excellent APIs, which can help you to do the required automation at Terraform cloud. Yeah. All right. So with that note, I have shown you the things not to be shown in this video. Kindly. Finally, a kind request, please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot. So with that note, thank you. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.